Last year here in Scotland, we witnessed truly remarkable scenes of faith and hope as the relics of St. Tres came to Scotland. I remember sitting for hours in my own cathedral in Paisley, watching people of all ages, all backgrounds, all nationalities come to pray in the vicinity of the little flower. It was truly heartwarming to see so many coming to pray for themselves and for their loved ones. Watching the many thousands who streamed through our churches at that time, it was obvious that something quite special was happening. The Little Flowers visit to our country wasn't just an occasion for the church regulars or for the chosen few. It was an occasion that I think spoke to those on the margins of our community, those who may have wandered far from the faith, those whose lives might have become submerged in the turbulence of our times, those whose lives very often don't include God. They came, they prayed, and they encountered the Lord once more. In those few days in our country, the little flower, a long dead religious sister when you think of it, was God's instrument for a remarkable act of new evangelisation. That work of new evangelisation continues. As a church, we're called to keep reaching out to all those on the margins of our communities, to those who need the hope given by the gospel, and those who are seeking to rediscover the beauty of faith gifted to them by previous generations. Our priests, you know, have a unique an irreplaceable role in this project. They're called to minister the mysteries of God. They're chosen to preach his word. They're commissioned by Christ himself to build his kingdom. They're called to go out and seek out the lost to serve the disadvantaged. Well, why not join them? Why not be part of this remarkable adventure? The church needs your gifts, your talents, your dedication. In September, we all saw the miracle of Marie Francoise Trez Martin that is St. Therese of Lisieux, as faith was reborn in the hearts of so many. Why not become part of that miracle in 2020? Thank you.